Finally, it's a new month and these are some free awesome apps to check out and to get the very best out of your Android device. I'd also like to know if you'd like to see more videos like this on the channel, kindly leave me a comment. So how do you feel when you are watching a video on YouTube and all of a sudden, you have to do something else but you still want to watch that video how's texting or browsing through the web well with this app you'll be able to watch any youtube video in picture in picture mode even if your device doesn't support this feature the name of this app is anything to pip which can be downloaded from the play store for free to make things easier for you let's say you want to watch a youtube video in picture in picture mode open the video you want to watch on youtube now you tap on the share icon here scroll down and select show in pip this will take you inside the app and once you see the video playing, you tap on this icon here to play in picture-in-picture picture mode. Now your video should play in picture-in-picture picture mode and you can move this anywhere on the screen you want. Next, the name of this app is Remind Me. So let's say I want to remember something. All I have to do is just tap on this app like this and then I'll type in whatever I want to remember in here. After that, set priority level and enable persistent as well. Then I tap on Remind Me. So anytime I put down my notification drawer, I'll see this there as a notification reminding me of what I need to do. There's a lot more you can do with this app. So after downloading the app, open it and type in whatever you want to remember here. Once you are done, select priority, whether low, medium or high. Enable persistent to keep the reminder in your notification drawer. This way when you clear your notification, it will still be there. Unless you delete this by yourself. You can save reminders as well when you click on save and you can view your saved reminders here too. You can also view history as well. You can do shadows for future reminders too, like setting a date, time and days. And oh, you can save links with this app and set it as a remind me notification. So the next app to check out is, kindly share this video with your friends. I know you don't want to be a greedy friend. Just a reminder. Thank you. Okay, now back to business. The next app to check out is What's Blog, but on the Play Store it's called Wa Call Blocker. Now with this app, you'll be able to block any unwanted calls on WhatsApp from your contacts, unknown numbers, or any WhatsApp call in general. And even you can create a custom list and add numbers from your contacts, unknown numbers, and WhatsApp group. Also at the same time, you can make a white list for contacts you like to receive calls from on WhatsApp. But for this app to work properly, you need to allow all requested permissions to the app. Also, enable the service depending on the WhatsApp app you are using. So if you are using the original WhatsApp, you turn it on. And if you are using WhatsApp business, you turn the service on for WhatsApp business. Over here, you can view blocked calls and you get to enjoy more of these features when you go in for the premium version of this app, which would also allow you to schedule active times for the app to work and you can create automation for a list of contacts. Okay. So with the help of this app, there's no way you are going to struggle all the time trying to pull down your notification drawer on your long display devices. I mean those with devices with long display. The name of this app is Button Quick Settings which you can download from the Play Store for free. After allowing all permissions to the app, you'll now be able to pull down your notification drawer like this to access maybe Wi-Fi, mobile data, Bluetooth, increase or decrease screen brightness and more. But other toggle buttons will also need root access to work. That's not all, the app allows you to do some customization if you want to, like editing tiles, adding more toggles, icon pack, more sliders from volume section like media, alarm, or voice call volume. You can also select your preferred theme, blend background, and adjust layout to fit your style and you can get access to more of these features in the premium version. Lastly, URL Checker is another app to check out and with this app, you'll be able to find out if the link you're about to visit is safe or not. So basically, the app acts as an immediate step towards opening any link on your device. The app will then check through the link to see if they can find anything like virus or malware which can affect your device. Tap here to find more modules with description alongside and their configuration. This will tell you the work of every module. Now anytime you are sent a link or you click on a link you think it's not going to be safe for you, you just select the app then you wait for it to do its checkups. If there is anything wrong with the link, they will show up here like this and you can remove queries, you can also fix issues with the URL and scan for virus before you open the link. This app is a free app you can download from the Play Store. I hope these apps will help you in one way or the other. And yeah, I know you enjoyed this video, so please drop a like and kindly leave a comment which of this app was your favorite. Share this with your Android friends and I'll see you in the next one.